hello students welcome to engineers academy now we are going to solve this uh, problem from chapter 14 hebler dynamics the problem says that the block has a mass of 0.8 kg and moves within the smooth vertical slot if it starts from rest so the initial velocity at a is 0 so the mass is 0 0.8 kg and velocity at point a is 0 and it is said that when the attached spring is in the unstretched position at a determine the constant vertical force f which must be applied to the cord so that the block attains a speed of 2.5 meter per second so we need to find this force f in order to have the velocity of 2.5 meter per second at point b so the velocity at point B need to be equal to 2.5 meter per second and when it is when it reaches B so as, as B is 0.15 so it will cover a distance of 0 0.15 0 0.15 meters in order to have that velocity so this SB is 0 0.15 meters let me write this in the given this is 0 0.15 meters and it is said that neglect the size and mass of the pulley also the hint is given that the work of force f can be determined by finding the difference delta l in the cord length ac and bc using uf equals to f delta l so now to find that f we have to apply the work energy principle so from a to b we have to apply the work energy principle so from the work energy principle we can say that the kinetic energy at point a plus the summation of all the work done due to the external forces from A to B equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So now the block is at rest at point A so the kinetic energy at point A is 0 and if we consider the free body diagram of this block so the, if this is that block so the if it is going up so the spring force is going to apply the force in the downward direction so that is the spring force and the weight is also acting in the downward direction and the that f force which is applied with the help of the ropes is going to act in this direction like this so now the uh, the spring is also doing some work the the weight is also doing work on this block and that force f is also doing some work so we can write that the work done due to the uh, force f plus the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to the spring force and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so the kinetic energy at point b is 1 divided by 2 and mass is 0 0.8 times vb square and vb is also given which is 2.5 so that is 2.5 square now the work done due to the force f in the problem hint it is given that uf will be equal to f times delta l and delta l is the change in the cord length so let's say that this is bc initially the cord length is a c and then it changes to b to c so now if we place this cord length on the top of this cord so then this is the delta l so when this block a moves to b so then this end of the rope will move downward and it will move how much it will move equal to delta l and delta l will be equal to ac minus bc so let me write that delta l will be equal to ac minus bc so first of all we have to find ac so we can consider a triangle if i consider a triangle like this so this is the hypotenuse of this triangle and this length is 0.3 which is given and this length is given this is 0.3 and this perpendicular is 0.4 so we can write that ac will be equal to point if we apply the Pythagoras theorem then this will be 0.3 square plus 0.4 square under the square root so this is AC minus BC so now for BC we have to consider this triangle like this so now again 
this length is 0 0.3 and this length is 0 0.4 minus SB. This is 0 0.4 minus SB which is 0 0.15. So now again, if we apply Pythagoras theorem, then this will be 0 0.3 square uh, plus that 0 0.4 minus SB and SB is 0 0.15, so 0 0.15 square. And then we will take the square root. So this will give us the change in length. So let me find this 0 0.3 square root 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.4 square. So this is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 minus square root 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.15 square and this gives me 0 0.3095 0 0.3905 3905 so we can find the change in length of the card so that is 0 0.5 minus that final answer. So this is 0 0.1095, 0 0.1095 meters. So this is the change in the length of the card when the when this block moves from A to B. So now the work done due to that force F will be F times delta L and now delta L is known so this is 1095 so we can write that value that work done here that is F 0 0.1095 and now as we can see that uh, this force F is applied in this direction or uh, it is applied in this direction so it is doing positive work on this block since it is moving in this direction and one of the component of this force F is acting along the displacement covered so this f is doing the positive work so this is the positive work done now the work done due to the weight is always equal to w times delta y the change in the vertical position so w is the mass times g so now the mass is 0 0.8 times 9.81 and the change in the vertical position from a to b is sb which is 0 0.15 and as we can see that the block is moving in the upward direction and the weight is acting in the opposite direction so the work done due to the weight is the negative work so we have to write this is the negative work done so the work done due to the weight is the negative work done and now the work done due to the friction force so the work done due to the friction force is always equal to 1 divided by 2 k times s and S is the stretch length or the compressed length, right? So K is given, which is 100. This is 100. And the spring will be stretched uh, at a distance of 0 0.15. So I will write that this is 0 0.15 square. So this is K as square, remember. And again, as we can see that the block is moving up and the friction for the spring force is acting in the downward direction. So they are acting in the opposite direction. So the work done due to the spring force is also the negative work done so this is equal to 1 divided by 2 0 0.8 into 2.5 square so this is equal to minus 1.772 1.1772 and this is this is plus into minus minus and 100 divided by 2 is 50 so 50 multiply by 0 0.15 square so this is 1.125 so 1.125 and this is 0 0.8 divided by 2 0 0.4 into 2.5 square 0 0.4 into 2.5 square so this is 2.5 2.5 and this is f into 0 0.1095 now if we bring these two terms to the other side of equation so they will become positive so this is plus 1.1772 plus 1.125 and if we divide both sides of equation by that uh, change in length of the card that is 0 0.1095 0 0.1095 then we will be able to find that force f 
which will enable this block to have a velocity of 2.5 meter per second after traveling a distance of 0 0.15 meters. So 2.5 plus 1.1772 plus 1.125 divided by 0 0.1095. So this is 43.85. So that force F equals to 43.856 newtons.